everybody, what's going on this morning, guys? We are running late, so that's why this intro is already started in the truck. I brought along the cup holder because I found the first thing that I do not like about this version is, well, number one, the lack of space in a regular cab, and also the lack of any cup holder in here because it's early and we had to get coffee. So trying to hold the camera, hold your coffee, and still drive is quite a challenge. But anyway, this morning we are on our way to go get the first gen aligned. Uh, as you know, we put a whole new front end in this thing and we did the uh, little tape measure uh, as best we could. And that's what we've been driving on. But today is the day we finally get it completely straightened out. So that is where we're headed. We're already a couple minutes late. I don't know if my seatbelt on. It's all over the, we are all over the place this morning. Anyway, uh, the alignment's done. We're already back home for a brief second. We're actually headed out now. Um, we were just busy. We were busy doing the alignment. I didn't get a chance to really film a whole lot. It wasn't... Anyway, I'll explain the whole alignment story later. To... Later. But we're headed to John Sendit now. Um, he's home from vacation. He's working on scrap truck. So we're going to roll over there, obviously, in our newly aligned first gen. A plus job. Ryan was everything. Everything's perfect. But um, met some cool people. Uh, just bullshitting with them. Uh, but we're gonna head over there now. It's lunchtime. I know we're kind of jumping my phone. This is John right now. John wants a sandwich, so we're gonna stop and get a sandwich, and then we're gonna go to John's. Like the fat guy again, because I have the food on my lap. We got the send it sub. Off to send it house we go. Over the river and through the woods. To Johnny send it house we go. Oh, that's there's no. Come on, you gotta get into it. I'm not a three year old. Over the river and through the woods, through Johnny Sinditz we go. I through. can't, no wonder the cops call them all, get called on them all the time. This is like Yuppieville, USA. Through the town of Yuppieville. Official Greg A. weather report of the day. Slightly cloudy. Partly. Partly, oh, excuse me. You want to do the weather report? You do it right if you're going to do it. Partly cloudy, slight breeze from the northeast. What a day to be alive, people. What a day to be alive, let me tell you. And we are currently speeding. Yeah, don't do that through here. Oh, there's a man. Here we go. Hey, there's no cops this time. I think the neighbors are home. There he is. Gotta give it the old send it lope tune. What's up with the flat cut? Hey, Hawkins. Hey. Hey. Oh. hey neutral drop. Put a manual on this thing now or something? Yeah. Oh. We just shut it off rolling. I don't want to upset your neighbors. Oh yeah. God forbid he's outside. We better look out. Oh, what did we do gosh. with the What did we do with the flat cut? What happened to the miter? Oh, the people wanted a little change up, so I gave the people what they want. They wanted just a little change up. Give so the I figured people what they want. I figured just change it up just a hair. Oh, you're not about that. I don't know. It does look kind of tractor esque. It smells tractor-esque in here. So what do we got going on here today, boys? What'd you do? So we got a we got a substitute 425 in 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 the. Uh... Oh, we don't. Oh, okay. Shh. All right, all right. Okay. Shush. Shush. Uh, yeah, we got a we got a head stud in the hole. What it is? <laughs> that's not important. That's not important. Hopefully, it holds the head down. That's all that matters. Alrighty, but so we're ready to roll. We gotta take the hood off again? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I might just burn a hole in this thing. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I think as much so? as I don't want to. I don't know. Well, you gotta figure something out for next week, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I have I have Johnny spare parts. I got hoods. <laughs> I got hoods. Hoods are in stock. Yes. We have a we have a strict uh, idling limit time. We're gonna fire this thing up, check for leaks, and how many how many minutes do we have before? Well, uh, technically, according to well, forty nine point seven colon one eleven. Niner. Niner. Yeah. Subchapter Niner. Um, <laughs> since we're doing service to the vehicle, I can idle as long as I want. But somebody else old thinks. Old over here doesn't know that because he's got the old Trump wall. He's got the Trump wall. <laughs> Alrighty, fire her up. Us, us, us on the YouTube channel, we'll check for leaks. I kind of like the black there. It kind of made it look somewhat uniform. Now you just... Johnny, What's your name? He'll write Johnny, it on the wall. Johnny Two Bottles. We were within our 10-second run limit. Yeah, really, that wasn't even 10 seconds. Just send it. You know what they're doing? They're probably ordering some uh, fun delete kits. Probably they run inside there almost out. Yeah, that's probably what he's upset about. They weren't in stock. Amazon I mean, Prime couldn't get it next Yeah, <laughs> Prime couldn't get his fun delete kits in. I get you every time. Probably called and said we're not coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sir, uh, you've wasted our time too many times. I just said that. Uh, even though that hood's not even going to be on. Johnny wrote his name. Alrighty. Currently leaving the Sended household onto <laughs> onto Sended Senior's house in Napa, and time to really piss his neighbors off. All right, Ryan, camera duty. Man, what you got under that hood of that thing, man? That thing's pretty damn quick. Is that a six cylinder in there? EcoBoost, is that what that QC stands for? Six cylinder, twin turbo, you know. Like Gosh dang it, boy. All right, so we're here at the local, local Napa. Update on the official Greg A weather report. Looks like we got some uh, scattered T storms here. Send it's in there. Looking for a <laughs> looking away. looking for a uh, zip tie because his little homemade coolant bypass may or may not have been resting right there. But 
no big deal. We're just gonna zip tie that out of the way, carry on with the day. And a, a thunderstorm is gonna go away. <laughs> Another rhyme. Perfect timing to come see the fuzz. Thanks for your awesome camera skills. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Down to me and Johnny. So what's the plan? Dry shaft loop, Dry number shaft one. Loop number one. Okay. Get that done. Anything after that's... Bonus. Bonus. A couple little things. Blow the hole in the hood. Oh, that's right. Cut a hole in the hood. All right, let me grab my stuff. This is just, this is just craziness. I'm not gonna be able to work outside anymore. This is revolutionary. You guys can't feel it, but it feels like a whole boatload of awesomeness. Cool air into Oh, is that sweat on your face? <laughs> not anymore. Not so. Alrighty, we are now in full safety mode. Got our little drive shaft loop. I still haven't done one on the rear, but that's coming. Progress, progress people, you know what I say about progress. So quick product highlight here. Uh, we are now trying to fix a leaky drain. Uh, we have on one of our chargers a fleece drain set up. John got this vibrant drain set up on the other one which uses just a conventional gasket style which was leaking now this fleece drain here no gasket required has a sexy sexy o-ring and then also an o-ring seal on this other part so if you are fabbing your own turbo uh, stuff or need a oil drain you may think that the fleece product is overpriced but you are completely wrong it is worth every single penny of it ain't that right john because nothing beats doing a job twice but yeah, this and, and the smell of oil burning off a of hot housing hmm. does not instill confidence so do yourself a favor grab a fleece oil drain do it once do it right spend the money get yourself this because this is what you need from greg a now if only John had the right size bolts, which we forgot at my house. Damn it, boys! Dang wind 
get you while we're stuck. No, I can hear it clanging around in there. It's always something, ladies and gentlemen. Always something. I can see it in there. I can see that there's no linkage attached. We should have just grabbed the whole kit. Right ones? Right ones. Here, take your old ones. I don't want my old ones. You want the old ones. What are these white ones? Take a white one. What are these white ones? Those are, oh, 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 oh. Johnny mess. Oh, hold down. Ooh, textured for her. <laughs> what? What? Sorry. Did I say that out loud? What is it? Give it a taste test on camera. You can give it a, you know, Mr. Mr. Red Bull over here. Taking all the monsters. Right straight for the swig. Yeah, this has no sugar, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can taste it. It's a no calorie job. Catch you, buddy. Woo! Bye. Bye. I just expected it now. Yeah, Have fun fixing nice. your dream. Yeah. High quality product. Thanks, I please. The bolts. Thank you, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll Love you. Me. Catch you some catch you on the flip side. Love you, bye. To exchange your four twenty five for a six twenty five. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that already. <laughs> in route, in route. Yeah, I think I think Mikey G said Tuesday. 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 I don't know what you're doing this week, but helping you, getting ready. Yeah, and then once we do that, let's test let's launches. Leave. Oh, I'm I need to do a test launch already. Right. I'm gonna do a test launch now. I got to back together. I need to do a four wheel drive test launch. Oh yeah, I can't do that. I need yeah. to practice. We need to get. We need a test fit trail horn. Oh, we need to test fit two trucks on my trailer. We gotta find a nice day this week. A nice day on the Greg A channel? Yeah. Rains every day. Bye, bye, bye. Alrighty guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Just to recap this day of randomness, uh, the first end alignment went very well. Um, like I mentioned, we were running kind of really behind on getting there. Uh, I had never met these guys that we were going to be doing it with. Uh, they were guys that run a shop on Ryan's route. Uh, amazingly awesome guys. Uh, just, you know, just completely great guys. Um, helped us get set up. You know, me and Ryan kind of hammered it through uh, and got it perfect. Uh, so the first time alignment is, is in great shape. It's not going to wear tires. It's in good shape. So got that done uh, went and helped John uh, so just a really awesome day uh, meeting new people um, you know if there's one thing that you know you can't like put a price tag on it's you know we were just hanging out uh, BSing with those guys and, and getting to know each other and it was just awesome like they are just just a bunch of awesome guys and like you just can't put a price tag on like meeting new people going new places um, it's something that you know you really shouldn't shy away from it's it's real easy to stay in your bubble uh, and not meet new people but meeting new people just opens up doors after doors of connections and hey you know what I mean so it's it's just an awesome experience so Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. We will see you guys soon. Just remember next weekend, Numidia, the 15th. Uh, make sure you're there. Make sure you're coming out. Uh, me, John, No Boost, uh, we'll all be out there. Uh, this upcoming week, we should be unveiling the big surprise. I promise. I promise. But thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you soon. Hey, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Dang it.